Hello everybody out there. My name is Chris Nicholson. I'm a honky-tonk ragtime boogie-woogie pianist and also I'm a Williams artist. So I would like to present to you their flagship grand piano. This right over here is the Williams Symphony Concert. A piano, especially a grand piano, is considered a luxury of your home. Now, sitting in front of a black, high-polished concert ebonized finish just gives you the feeling to play the piano. I'm looking at this piano, and I am thinking it's just like an acoustic piano every time I sit at it. This Williams Symphony concert gives you the full grand piano experience and what I like about it is that even when it's closed it still looks like a grand piano. The symphony concert comes in a high polished concert ebonize which is also ebony. Now as you can see the symphony concert is a little bit longer than the symphony grand 2 because they have actually added an extra foot. Now one thing that is really cool about this manual, this is only 43 pages and it's very, very self-explanatory. So this manual shows you actually how to set up the piano. I did basically a setup video on it and this piano comes in a huge box, but you can also refer to that video which I'll put the link below on it. But this shows you everything about the piano, what instruments are on here, and it's only 43 pages, so no more 250 pages, just so you could just take the manual and just toss it away. Another thing too, is that you can get online lessons. So this right over here is online lessons with Scoove. So you can actually download the app and something like me, I don't know how to read music. This can actually teach you step by step how to read music. Now let's talk about the playability and the action of this beautiful symphony concert. First of all is that you have a TP40 Fatara action. Now Fatara is one of the best actions in the business as in the digital piano world. You can see Fataras on many different kind of keyboards and digital pianos. So we have the raised sharps and at the same time the sharps are matted and then throughout the whole keyboard from the bass section all the way to the treble section it's naturally scaled so the bass section is going to be a little bit heavier than when you go all the way up to the treble section it's going to be a lot lighter just like an acoustic piano Not only that the symphony concert looks good, but it also sounds really, really good. Okay, so let's talk about the piano sound. The piano sound that you have actually that comes with the symphony concert is a two gig Italian 10 foot concert grand. Now, not only that you have a full 88 note key sample, 
but it's also six different velocities. And now, let me show you. With that Italian-made concert grand piano sound and the six different velocities, it's basically endless because you also have 256 note polyphony. Now, if you're a ragtime player like me, or basically if you like to play Rachmaninoff or music with many, many notes, with 256 note polyphony and six different velocities from the piano sound, you will never run out of notes. With the symphony concert, you can actually make your own symphony because not only that it has the two gig piano sound, you also have 172 instruments. Plus, you can actually have it in multi timbral mode, which is 16 part multi timbral. So, with 256 note polyphony, six different velocity piano sound, and 172 instruments, you can't go wrong of making your own song on this beautiful piano. Now it's time for me to stop talking about this instrument and actually play the examples of the voices. So you have many different kind of categories of voices. You have pianos, electric pianos, you have strings, guitars, basses, you also have woodwinds and brass, and you have lots of drums, which I absolutely love. So with 256 note polyphony, it's endless. You can make your songs and make your symphony.
Okay, so now let's talk about the backbone of the symphony concert. This symphony concert actually has a more upgraded sound system. Now, on the bottom of the piano, you actually have two woofers plus two bass boosters. With the player view, you actually have two mid-range speakers. And in the soundboard area, you actually have four tweeters. So you have soprano tweeters and you have mid-range tweeters, which is really cool. With the EQ, you can set up the piano the way how you want it. And I tell you this, once playing on the Symphony Concert, just like the Symphony Grand 2, the Symphony Concert, you can actually feel the piano vibrate just like an acoustic piano. And that's one of the features that I absolutely love because I'm an acoustic piano player, but when I'm playing on a symphony concert, I feel like I'm sitting at a real grand piano. Now, I would like to mention two unique features of the symphony concert, which I think is really, really cool. Number one is that you get a brand newly designed fall board, which is actually a two piece fall board. So when you lift up the first piece, you can actually hide the controls and play piano and everybody will probably think it's an acoustic piano. When you lift up the second piece, which actually has a handle, you're greeted by the controls and a beautiful TFT color LCD touch display. Now, this is the very, very first touch display that we ever had in a Williams Digital Grand Piano and that brings out the luxury of the symphony concert. Now, here is another capability that the Williams Symphony Concert can actually do. You can actually have one part of the fallboard up and just expose the keys. So it looks just like an acoustic piano. The second part is that you have two different kind of lid props. You have the full staff and you have the half staff. Now, I like to refer them as full staff and half staff, just like flags. So, if you have basically a singer, and a singer says, oh, the piano's too loud, can we lower the lid? Now you have that option, and you have the full grand piano experience. Another thing, too, is that you can actually put up the lid, and if you decide to put a keyboard on to the top of the piano, the music desk folds down and it's basically seamless right so you can put the keyboard on top of now the Williams Symphony concert is basically a Williams Symphony Grand 2 with a bigger cabinet and upgraded sounds basically the same synth engine what you have on here is the most exciting part is the styles so with the styles, you actually have intros, endings, you got two variations, two fill-ins, and you also have a fade out button. So you have interactive accompaniments, meaning when you play the style at first in a major chord, it's gonna be the normal style. Once you play a minor chord, some things is gonna change a little bit and it's gonna get a little bit more excited. Once you play a seventh chord, that arrangement is going to get even more excited and it's going to actually follow your every move. As I said, the symphony concert comes with 180 styles. So you're going to hear everything from rock to pop, 
to jazz to swing, even world music. And it's all built into the symphony concert. Just like the Symphony Grand 2, this is one of the exciting parts that I absolutely love is to have your own backup band. So here's the examples.
Now, another cool added feature which I absolutely love is the 88 key guide lamps, which is right above the keys. Now, as you can see, it's in blue, and when you play them, the blue gets a little bit lighter. So, once you press the demo, you can actually see the multicolored, which is full rainbow colored, of the guide lamps. Another cool feature that the guide lamps do is, say for instance, if you use the Scove app and download it and wirelessly Bluetooth it on your piano, the music teacher on Scove can actually teach you how to play with the guide lamps. I think that's a pretty cool feature and I'm going to definitely use it for the kind of disability that I have that I cannot read music. Now, once I do my arrangements on here and I see it in full color, it makes me want to come back to this piano more and more and just write music. Now, another cool added feature that the Symphony Concert has right on the right-hand side of the panel, you have eight drum pads, which are actually velocity sensitive and they're assignable of different drum kits. Now, this comes in handy in multi-timber mode. So say, for instance, if you don't want to play drums on the keys, you can actually record your songs on the pads with the velocity sensitive. On top of that, each drum pad is labeled. Now what if you have your laptop, your smartphone, or your tablet, and you don't have any speakers to play your music? Guess what? The Williams Symphony Concert and all of the Williams pianos comes with Bluetooth capability. Not only that you have Bluetooth audio, you also have Bluetooth MIDI. Now one thing that's cool about the Symphony Concert and also a lot of the Williams digital pianos is that you have, right in the front panel, is a USB to host. With the USB to host, you can actually put a thumb drive just like this one right over here. You can store your audio and your MIDI data. In the back of the music desk, which is actually hidden, you can actually have the USB to device. With that, you plug in a laptop computer or your tablet or smartphone, and the speakers will actually be compatible with your device. Also, you have an auxiliary output, just in case if you want to put another device in. So when you buy a Williams Digital Piano, and say for instance you live in an apartment, or basically if you have babies that are sleeping and you don't want to bother them or bother somebody in the next room, you actually have a headphone jack, but not just one, you actually have two of them. Uh, the headphone jacks are eighth inch, and so that's those mini headphone jacks, and you have two of them. Another feature that you have is that you also have a headphone rack which you can actually adjust so you can bring out the headphone rack out or in and it will store your headphones onto the piano without you having to leave it anywhere else. Now another thing that's very very authentic about say for instance the Overture 3, the Symphony Grand 2 and the Symphony Concert is when you look at the pedals, they look exactly like concert grand piano pedals. So those pedals have been actually authentic design pedals to make it look like a concert grand piano. Not only that they look like a concert grand piano, but they also feel like pedals from a concert grand piano. So on the left, you get the soft pedal, which is actually called the unicorda. The middle one is actually the sustenuto, and you can assign it to stop start. And also, the right one is your sustain pedal. With the sustain pedal, when you press it, if you're playing our two gig piano sound, you can actually hear the dampers lift up and down. On top of that, with the action, you get key noises, which is really good. You also can adjust those. With the pedal, once you press the pedal, you can actually hear the string resonance and the string noise. And it's just like playing an Italian 10-foot concert grand piano. What is the difference between the Symphony Grand 2 and the Symphony Concert? They're both kind of almost the same except for the bodies. Now, as I said again, the Symphony Grand 2 is actually a 3-foot body 
and it's a lot smaller than the symphony concert. The symphony concert has more piano features as in the body, plus the touch screen, and it comes actually in a four foot cabinet, which is really neat. So, as you see the two differences, you have your choices of what grand piano do you want. Hey everybody out there, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my Williams videos. If you need any questions about any of the Williams pianos, as you can see I have all of them right here. I have to thank the Williams Piano Company for providing me with all of these pianos and giving me the opportunity to actually showcase them. Do me a favor, click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And go on to the Williams site, www.williamspianos.com. You get to see any of these products right over here. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to send me a message. Anyway, I gotta get going, so I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.